Hey, it's Dave from WeUseThat.com. Today, taking a look at another security Wi-Fi camera. This one coming from Vimtag. Um, it's got some positives, it's got some negatives, so we're just gonna take a quick look at it uh, and just give you my first impressions of it so far. Uh, so right now, this is the camera. You'll see it's um, a dome shape here. Uh, the head of it actually rotates around uh, full 360 degrees. Uh, it gives you about an up and down of about 180. So you can pretty much see the floor, you can see the ceiling. Uh, so you really you get a full range of motion, especially depending on where you put this in the room. You're definitely going to be able to see everything. Um, it also comes with this wall mount where this gets screwed on right to this base and this arm goes ahead and gets screwed into the wall so that way you can pretty much put it anywhere. Uh, it just plugs into the back and you plug it into the wall. Um, unfortunately, uh, the sleek design of it kind of gets hindered a little bit when you try to plug it in because uh, unfortunately, I've got my Wi-Fi plug here, or excuse me, my power plug. I've got my USB cable, but it does not plug directly into the unit. Instead, you have to use this awkward box. Uh, on the side, it's got the USB connector for the power. It also has the Ethernet adapter as well. So if you're going to hardwire this camera in, it does all of that. So other Wi-Fi cameras that we've tested out, it doesn't need a, a special box to power it. So you've got to use this awkward box, so it makes it look really... Um, cumbersome it just really ruins the aesthetics of the entire shape of the device uh, but once you get it plugged in what I did like about this is I did not need to plug this into my router or directly into my cable internet to get it set up uh, previous cameras you had to actually plug into the the Wi-Fi box into the router first in order to set it up this one you can actually set up without the use um, of a cable box you just set it up um, through the Wi-Fi it was actually really easy to use the phone just transmits a, a little sound to the camera. It sounds like a fax machine. It's just telling the camera all the information for your Wi-Fi network, uh, which network to connect to, what's the password. So it does all that pretty quickly and easily. So I had this set up in about two minutes. Uh, you download the app. It's free from the App Store. It's on Android and iPhone. So it was really easy to get. Uh, unfortunately, when I tried to boot up and take some shots of the camera today, it didn't work. I had to reset the camera in order for my phone to connect back up to it. So the dependability of this camera may not be the best. But one of the cool things about this camera though is that it does cloud recording. Um, the camera itself is about $130, but for $150 you can get an additional uh, cloud storage device. It's a one terabyte hard drive you can connect this camera as well as the other cameras from Vimtag. Uh, you can have up to four cameras attached to it at once and it gives you about 60 days of storage uh, when it comes to recording video. So it's a really cool setup uh, if you're looking to do security in your home, if you've got a small business and you're looking for a way to have security video and security cameras in your business, uh, this may be a good option for you. If you're looking for a baby monitor, I would not go with this. It's just not as dependable as I thought it would be. Um, it also has the motion sensor detect, which I tried to test out. I could not get it to go off. It wasn't pushing any notifications to my phone, letting me know that it had detected any motion in the house. So it really wasn't too dependable on that. Uh, but I'm sure these are just quirks that I could probably work out and try to figure out. Because unfortunately, a lot of these devices do not come with manuals. You have to go online and try to do some research. Uh, the only thing that really came inside the box besides the camera and the plug uh, was just a quick setup guide telling me how to set it up through the Wi-Fi. But it's not a bad camera, like I said. Um, it does have a microphone and a speaker built in, so if you were to use this in a baby's room and the baby started crying, you can talk to the child uh, through your phone and out through the, the camera. Uh, same thing as if you had a dog and your dog was freaking out you wanted to calm him down. Um, but while it's a cool feature, I feel like it's not that practical. I feel like you would only scare a baby because they hear a random voice somewhere. Uh, if you try talking to your dog, you're only going to excite your dog because they think you're home when really you're not. Um, so it's, it's a feature that's cool, but I don't know if I'd really use it. Maybe if you wanted to scare a burglar, if you were out on the road and the sensor said, hey, someone's in your house, you could say, oh, hey, I can see you. I'm calling the cops right now. So you could do that. Uh, but again, it's from Vimtag. The camera itself is about $130, that storage device. Again, it's a one terabyte worth 60 days of video. That's about $150. Uh, in addition to this model, this is the P1. There's three other different models of cameras. 
Uh, you can get different packs on Vimtag's website. I'll put a link down below in the description if you want to check them out. Definitely do that. If you want more from We Use That, I'll also put a link to our website. You can see more of our reviews as well as a full write-up on this camera and many more. Again, it's Dave from We Use That. Thanks so much, and I'll see you soon.